Okay, well, I finally got around to uh, building one of Slider's TIE Fighter um, Mendocino kind of motors. And um, it's supposed to have one of these little small coils in it. So it looks like one of those Star Wars TIE Fighter kind of things. But I couldn't get it to work right with that. I don't know what I did wrong. I kept breaking the wire or something. These coils come out of these solar wavers. And so I went back to the fat coil and put it in there and it works just fine. So I'm calling my version the fat version. And this is Slider's design of putting the coil across the panel like that rather than the way that I did it. And this was based on the original inventor's idea of putting it uh, that way. He put it sideways, 90 degrees, and uh, it made a real interesting um, solar spinner. So um, this is uh, what I'm calling the fat version, and it's just a sewing machine bob with 30 gauge wire, and it's just pointed out the window. And this was the the one that was the most successful was the three panel version, but. Um, I like the fact that this is small and it fits in one of these uh, plastic jars and there's just a magnet up there that it sits off of a needle. Um, the panels are wired in series basically all the way around with the uh, coil wired across the plus and minus of uh, either panel, doesn't matter. And then magnets for it to push against and this will uh, self-start sometimes, but uh, all you need to do is hold a flashlight on it and you really get her get her going pretty darn fast. Um, Granddad's one, he just shakes it and gets it going. But um, with the flashlight, you can really get these things moving. Anyway, that's my um, replication of Slider's TIE Fighter, only using a fat coil, and I'm calling it the fat version. Thanks for watching.